Hi, I'm Pushkar and I'm master teacher in chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing KVPY 2018 SX part 1 chemistry paper. Here is a question. The pressure volume isotherm of a Van der Waals gas at the temperature at which it undergoes gas to liquid transition is correctly represented by A, B, C and D. Four options are there. Now, P versus V graph, as we know, looks like, for the idle gas, it looks like the option D. For the ideal gas, it looks like the option D at a constant temperature, that's called Boyle's law. But for a Van der Waal gas, we know P plus A by V square, into V minus B is equals to RT. So if we expand this, it will become PV minus PB plus A by V minus AB by V square is equals to RT. And if we simplify it in terms of volume, let's multiply throughout by V square and divide it by P. So if we multiply this by V square by P throughout, we are going to get this equation VQ plus P, P is cancelled because we have to multiply it by V square and divided it by V. So that is B V square minus B V square, sorry, negative B V square plus A V by P minus A B by P is equal to RT V square by P. And if we collect all these terms, we get V cube and plus V square and RT by P minus B plus V term if we collect. So A by P V minus AB by P is equals to zero. We can represent the Van der Waal equation like this. And if we represent the Van der Waal equation like this, we can clearly see that a Van der Waal equation is cubic in volume. Equation is cubic in volume. And when we plot a graph of a cubic equation P versus V, we get this kind of a graph. And this kind of a graph, we get an oscillation like this, which is very difficult to stand, comprehend. But the real behavior of a real gas looks like this. So this part is beautifully explained. This part is not so beautifully explained, okay? And this part, apart from this, this is also beautifully explained by the Van der Waal gas. But in between, where liquefaction takes place, it, it could not, by simple treatment, it could not explain. So, for detailed discussion, some other forums are needed. I would say that here, for the demand of question, it looks like this for any cubic equation and you can see that justification is this that corresponding to a value of p at a given t corresponding to a given value of p and t corresponding to a given value of p and t of course that t is constant we have three volumes that's called v1 v2 and v3 and we all know that for a cubic equation has three different solutions so this is the justification that a Van der Waal equation is cubic in V and that is why for every pressure and for a given pressure and temperature we could have three volume. So that is the shape of a cubic equation. So that's another question how successful it was to explain the real behavior but right now what question is demanding correct option will be the B option. <clears throat>
the correct option will be B. Of course, that's absolutely absurd. And of course, that is absolutely absurd. And this is totally unacceptable. So we left with only one option, that is B. And that is the justification. So that is slightly detailed discussion of this. A better discussion could be done, but uh, that requires more time and more orientation. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for detailed discussions of other questions.